It is believed that blockchain will create big change in accounting profession. In connection to that, why don't we learn blockchain-related terms in Chinese? Are you ready? First is Chu Kuai Lian. Chu is a verb which means subdivide or classify. Kuai is a noun which means lump, chunk, or piece. Combining these Chinese characters literally means divide into chunks. Can you guess what Chu Kuai means? It's a noun which means block, section, or segment. Lian is a noun which means chain. Putting these two words together, Chu Kuai Lian is easy to guess. It means blockchain. Next word is Mi Ma Xue. Let's break down Mi Ma. Mi is an adjective which means secret, while Ma is a noun which means number. Combining these characters literally means a secret number. Can you guess what is Mi Ma? Mi Ma is a noun defined as code. It also means cryptogram. Cryptogram is something written in code in which you need to decipher or discover the meaning of. Xue is a noun which means knowledge, learning, or subject of study. Combining these two words, mi ma xue literally means a study of cryptogram. So, what is mi ma xue? It means cryptography. Cryptography is briefly defined as the study of secure communication techniques. The third word is hashi. Hashi is simply an equivalent to English computer technology term hash. Wait a minute. Chinese word hashi and English word hash almost sound the same, right? This time, the Chinese characters do not help us in defining the word. This is a case of transliteration in Chinese. Transliteration does not tell you the meaning of a certain word, but it helps you on how to pronounce it. Transliteration changes the letters from one language into corresponding similar-sounding characters or letters of another language, and commonly used on foreign loan words. Next is fen san shi zhang ben. Let's decompose fen san shi. Fen san is a verb which means to disperse or to distribute. Shi is a noun which means pattern. Combining these two words, fen san shi means distributed. How about zhang ben? Zhang is a noun which means debt, bill, or account. Ben is a noun which means book. Combining these characters literally means a book of accounts. Zhang ben is a noun defined as ledger. Combining these two words, fen san shi zhang ben means distributed ledger. Next word is dian dui dian. Let's break down this word. The Chinese character dian is a noun defined as a place or point. Dui is a verb which means to fit together, to bring two things into contact or to get along. Again, dian means place or point. So, dian dui dian literally means one place in contact with another place. Now, what is dian dui dian? It means peer to peer or P two P. In peer to peer network, two or more computers are connected to each other, where they can share resources without requiring a separate server. These resources can be files or any digital information. Next is bai zhan ting, zhang jun wen ti. Byzantine is simply equivalent to Byzantine. I know what you're thinking. You're right. This is another case of transliteration in Chinese. Jiangjun is a noun which means general. Wenti is a noun which means problem. This is easy to guess. Byzantine Jiangjun Wenti means Byzantine general's problem. Now the last word, Qu Zhong Xin Hua. Qu is a verb which means to remove. Zhongxin is a noun which means center, while hua is a suffix ization. Putting together these words literally means removing the centralization. So what is qu zhongxin hua? It means decentralization. I hope you enjoy and learn a lot from this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell icon for more updates. Comment down below if you'd like to see more of this type of video. For more videos, click the link in the description box below, or click these end screens. Thanks for watching.